Good day everyone. Today is 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time, 16th of January. And we have a disclosure here. Uh, please stop the video and read it very carefully. It seems like 2018, uh, uh, we have a good start on 2018. We just want to look a little bit what happened today. For the last few days also, the NASDAQ, I'm going to get this one out of the way. It's 2.20. Uh, PM and uh, connection and NJ Trader broker. Uh, if we look at the first caller here, is uh, the Nasdaq. All the time frames has hit. Some of them are 5670. It doesn't matter. As long as this market is moving, we gonna nail it. If this market is not moving, we cannot do anything about it. The entry is, is a very accurate entry, can out trade any trader has been running, uh, trading manually for many years. And, uh, and the entry is superb. And then you have, uh, the, uh, the swing trading. If this market trend and we are catching a trend and the benefits in the swing trading, you're not in and out of the market all the time. And then uh, that is, uh, if this market trend, then we will be catching that trend without a doubt. Uh, we still have a few open and trades. Uh, as an example, uh, my favorite chart is one minute. And I want to show the one minute first. This is uh, as an example uh, on the uh, DAX. And it was earlier today I ran a couple of trades actually small trade and then took one trade and stopped I like the one minute this is my favorite chart why I like the DAX I like the DAX because if this DAX you can catch the trend one time just one time that can cover more than a guy trading the ES for the whole week so uh, and it's not unusual for the the DAX to run, and uh, especially uh, the DAX, the minutes are superb. You're gonna be lucky by running, uh, as an example, um, uh, rank of bars and things. You might get lucky one one time a week or two times a week, but the minutes, the one minute, the three minutes, and the five minutes, they are superb with the DAX. As an example. Uh, we showed you the one minute and I want to show you the uh, the five minutes and I like the three minutes as well on the actually we could have catch much more uh, on that one here but the market pulled back got us out of that trade if this market didn't pull back we could have catched the trend before it happened all the way down here that would have been amazing day but still we on the pullback re-entry, we catched that trade at 11.35 and we still going down with it and now we can close that trade. So that, if we can catch a trend on the DAX one time a week, that should be plenty for that trader uh, to have a decent life. Uh, as an example also, uh, let me take one more DAX here. Um, this one is still is not closed and is on a thousand volume and practically is the same. We catch the trend around uh, 1131 on the first pullback and we still nail in that trade. And that's what you see on your controller right there. Those auto trades does not require any optimization. Target stop loss is all automatic. And you can see the DAX on the top, 5.8, uh, 5.59 five, right now. And this is the 5.9. And then the second one is 5.3. And this is on the on the, the second one. And then we have a NASDAQ. Where is this NASDAQ? We have this NASDAQ has not closed yet. And it is on one trade. And that trade was 11.30. And this is a really serious business on the five minutes uh, NASDAQ. I like the NASDAQ a lot. Uh, today, the NASDAQ did extremely well. 
and you can see all the Nasdaqs on the side here on the right all of them did very well so that tell us it doesn't matter if that auto trade made today 500 or 600 or 700 is irrelevant because if this time frame as an example the DAX on the five minutes or on the five minutes made a very nice run today that could be uh, tomorrow the one minute is irrelevant as long as this market running uh, we will be in the green and one day you make money one day you don't or if this market not moving we cannot get anything out of it like a bullheaded man you cannot get hair out of it and when the market is flat uh, there is nothing to do there is no way where you want to get the ticks from where you want to get your money from if this market not moving it's not the auto trade is the market direction and the market if the market trading so when there is a trade when there is a trend we are catching it and we're not gonna let it go and it is fully automated uh, let me look on another one this is the uh, the big uh, instrument maybe uh, we want to look at the es also this is a really something also if we look at what time we took that trade is around 12 o'clock so this is a few charts between the DAX, NASDAQ, and ES. And we can see they all took those straight between 11.30 and 12 o'clock when the market starts spiking. Also now, just recently, now the last five minutes, we have a close on the gold. And it was a little bumpy right on the gold. And then let me see what time we took that trade. 12.57. We took that trade and when the markets start trending, we catch everything on that trend. The problem is we don't know when this market is going to spike. We don't know when this market is going to spike. Could be five minutes after the market open or one hour before the market close. We don't know. Nobody knows. You can sit down, bang your head through the walls, nobody knows because what we are doing we are renting those contracts we are no um, uh, market movers so this is where um, things let me look at uh, some other ones as well uh, we have i mean i cannot put all of them in there uh, the cl also just closed the last position on the 244 ticks and the trade was uh, the last trade was at 207 so let's look uh, some other thing here we have also the ym we have the ym did extremely well today and the last trade we had a little small losses here and the last trade we started on the last trade at 1029 and we were done around 1104 this is not bad at all so as long as this market moving we're gonna stay on that trend and no optimization you don't have to figure out the stop losses is all automatic the news filter all automatic and then once the trend is over the position is closed the secret about that the swing trading when you talk to me three years ago four years ago about swing trading i think i, th I said oh no man i mean i don't want to swing trading but as long as you're swing trading have a reasonable stop losses that is acceptable between the risk and the reward and we cannot have uh, the market moving nicely every uh, day and every day can come in a different uh, movement or different shape but if this market moving we are getting it and that is the bottom of that and the system can figure out once the system was the trend um, is over the trend is over and we should accept what we get for today 
for for a guy let's say if we take a small sometimes you can be the whole idea is to finish in one trade uh, let me try to find uh, one of the decks today uh, I think it was this one today uh, the DAX one trade and we nailed 2100 the trade was uh, at around um, 513 early morning I'm an early bird and then we were done at 621 if I kept that auto trade running would have lost money here but then we would catch the trend right there and would have made more money. But this is not the principle of trading. The more you trade, the more you expose in your, your account, the more risk you are taking. But if we can manage to accomplish some positive results, is irrelevant if it's a 500 or 5,000, is irrelevant. As long as this market can we can end that day in a positive and if my favorite chart today as an example nailed only 782 which this is my favorite chart on the DAX if this uh, uh, market here on the 1000 volume made 4000 or 5000 does not mean tomorrow it will make the same but tomorrow probably I will have better luck with my one minute and I can catch a trend, which we we have catch a lot of trends on the one minute, and there is no problem. Sometimes you end up with a hundred takes, sometimes you end up with fifty takes, two hundred takes. It doesn't matter as long as that market moving, we are gonna make it. And if this market not moving, we stop it for today. And that is a key to the auto trading. You cannot adjust turn on the auto trade and expecting everything become miracle it's not going to happen folks you have to keep your eye to see if this market uh, gonna uh, is trending or not you can start the auto trade around nine o'clock nine thirty uh, for the u.s market on the dax five five twenty or eleven o'clock doesn't matter what time you start uh, as long as the morning session for the DAX. I prefer to have the morning session in the Frankfurt uh, time, uh, like uh, on Eastern time, like 5.30, 6 o'clock Eastern time. You can start your auto trade on the DAX. If this market uh, moving, we are catching this trend. Folks, that's all what we have for today. Uh, we wish every trader uh, uh, it will be much nicer, smoother for you on 2018, 2017, it was really hard uh, uh, year to all, to everyone, uh, let's put it this way. And I hope uh, this 2018, it will bring a lot of success to a lot of trader, whatever system you're using, we wish you the best. That's all what we have for you today. We'll see you another day. Bye for now.